Internal Revenue Service IRS tax news. IRS adds new information in traditional Chinese to help with tax authorizations, part of growing multilingual effort to support taxpayers and help tax pros, third party designees. Oh, I see how it is, IRS. Honestly, with the IRS these days, it's becoming more and more apparent who runs the joint over there. It's the same people who manufacture your iPhone and everything else. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay my taxes, IRS, but I'm too old to learn like Mandarin or whatever other language the new overlords are demanding. Honestly, I'm just waiting to see how long they play this game with the American flag at the top of the IRS website. You know, let's take some bets on the date that that flag turns completely red. J just kidding. Because gambling's against the new overlord's rules and I don't want to be thrown in a dark, damp dungeon or anything. Anyways, first an attempt at a joke. What have the Bidens ginned up this time? You were waiting. You ginned up tempers, started rumors in the town. Oh, come on, man. The Bidens don't gin things up. Get up! 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 They prefer to crack cocaine things up. Are you saying I'm crack cocaine? It's time for President Biden to get off his high horse. Oh, get off your high horse, Professor Skilock. And find one more suited for him. Like a hobby horse. A steel horse I ride. I once heard a wise man say, failing to plan is planning by Biden. If you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. And electing Biden to plan is planning to fail. IR 2022-152, August 17, 2022, Washington. As part of a large effort to expand tax resources and more languages, the Internal Revenue Service announced today the addition of a translation of the instructions for Form 8821, Tax Information Authorization in Traditional Chinese. And there's a link to that here if you want to check it out. A tax information authorization, that's the TIA, is a critical form often used in assisting taxpayers with their IRS tax matters. Form 8821 is a taxpayer's written authorization designating one or more third parties, including an entity, to serve and view the taxpayer's information. The designee, designees, may inspect or receive confidential tax information for tax matters, forms and periods specified on form 8821 this authorization includes the right to receive verbal and written account information e.g transcripts and copies of irs notices the designee designees of a tia can be anyone the taxpayer chooses including family and friends form 8821 and its instructions were already available in english and spanish also making the instructions available in traditional chinese will expand access and understanding of these important process so quote this is another step we've taken in our ongoing efforts to do more to help taxpayers in their most comfortable language in quote said irs commissioner chuck reddick quote providing chinese language instructions for this form helps ensure additional taxpayers with limited English proficiency can understand the authorization they're giving to those who are helping them with tax matters, end quote. While Form 8821 is not yet available in traditional Chinese, the instructions for Form 8821 in traditional Chinese joins other multilingual forms and publications available to assist tax professionals and third-party designees. So we've got Form 8821, Tax Information Authorization in Spanish. You got a link to that here. Instructions for Form 8821, Tax Information Authorization in Spanish, Form 2848, Power of Attorney and Declaration of representation, uh, Representative in Spanish, Instructions for Form 2848, we got publication 941, practice before the IRS and power of attorney, Spanish, uh, and I think the same form in simplified Chinese, in Korean, Russian, Vietnamese, and we got circular 230, uh, regulations governing practice before the Internal Revenue Service in Spanish. So these, obviously these, it seems like you can just kind of do this fairly quickly, but you would think this actually does take quite some effort to, to make these translations because I mean, you can't just put it through a Google Translate. You have to have the proper legalese, you know, in, a, in another language. So you'd think that has to be, and they update, they should be updating the tax code all the time because taxes are changing 
all the time and therefore of course you'd have to update your translations all the time in some way shape or form and i'm not sure how exactly they do that but there it is in any case most tax professionals now use the online tax pro account at irs.gov forward slash tax pro accountant there's a link to that here tax pros account allows for faster processing of certain form 8821 authorizations versus filing form 8821 so you can do it through the website which is kind of like an e-file version of doing it which is actually very nice that they, they have made that update so most online requests record immediately to the centralized authorization caf see the instructions for form 8821 for details increasing the availability of services and tax products that are easy to use and support the needs of all communities is part of the irs recently released new five-year strategic plan there's a link to that strategic plan if you want to look at it that outlines the agency's goals to improve taxpayer service and tax administration information about irs services available in languages other than english is available at irs.gov forward slash my language there's a link to that here irs multilingual resources the irs is also or the irs also has uh, a languages page and so you can go to that languages page there's a link to that here available in 20 languages to help taxpayers find basic tax information some of the multilingual resources include the taxpayer bill of rights e-file there's a link to that resources and many tax forms and publications other available multilingual resources include interpreter services so taxpayers can access interpreters in more than 350 languages when interacting face to face or over the phone with the irs employees the let us help you page is available in seven languages Le uh, la latest tax news and information in seven languages through the agency's official twitter account you gotta have your twitter and multiple <laughs> and multiple language anyway, help for taxpayers and tax professionals tax uh, season alerts and planning ahead for 2023 there's a link to that here they got the special page available in seven languages on irs.gov includes the latest filing season updates and details of the agency's ongoing efforts to address the inventory of previously filed tax returns online tools that provide step-by-step -step instructions in various languages you got the where's my refund tool make a payment tool we've got the get transcript information tool there's links to that here alternative media resources for blind sight impaired and uh, individuals the irs recently announced that the agency's alternative media center that's the amc and is conserving irs form 1040 its main schedules and six publications in spanish braille and large print Taxpayers can download forms and instructions from the Accessible Forms and Publications page on irs.gov or request copies by going to irs.gov forward slash order forms or calling 800-829-3676. I won't say that a hundred times because there'll be a link to this in the description and you can check it out for yourself if you want to. So if a taxpayer has questions about IRS accessibility services, they can contact the accessibility hotline at 833-690-0598. This uh, hot help line does not, there's an emphasis on not with both bold, uh, bolden here. So <laughs> have access to taxpayer IRS accounts. For help with tax law, refunds or other account related issues you got to visit or you can visit the let us help you page on irs.gov 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 which i suspect is being, being taken over by the overlords but that whatever you can check it still works so you can check it out so there'll be a link to all this stuff here and there'll be a link to this in the description